the Mexican president greets a throng of supporters from his hotel window in the U.S. Capitol. You come to this great nation to do honest work and you come here to make it greater. You don't come here to steal. You don't come here for any wrongdoing. No. Andres Manuel Lopez Obrador's visit to Washington follows his snub of the Summit of the Americas last month, which was hosted by the Biden administration in Los Angeles. He was protesting the exclusion of the leftist governments of Cuba, Nicaragua and Venezuela. He and Joe Biden haven't often seen eye to eye. But the two know they have to work together. Mr. President, this is a relationship that directly impacts the daily lives, the daily lives of our people. And despite the overhyped headlines that we sometimes see, you and I have a strong and productive relationship. Under U.S. pressure, Mexico had detained migrants awaiting U.S. court hearings since 2019. But that policy has now been dismantled by the U.S. Supreme Court. And more than half a million Mexican migrants were apprehended at the U.S. border over the last year. For López Obrador, he's advocating for more U.S. work visas for Mexicans and Central Americans to help address the U.S. labor shortage and putting the migration question back in Washington's court. I know that your adversaries, the conservatives, are going to be screaming all over the place, even at heaven. They are going to be yelling at heaven. But without a daring, a bold program of development and well-being, it will not be possible to solve problems. But solutions on migration in a bitterly divided Washington seem very far away. Yasmin Al-Sabawi, TRT World, Washington.